Hello and welcome to this discussion video. Now this discussion video, as you can tell by the title, is called Pros and Cons of CEX. This video is inspired by a good friend of mine, Tammy, over at Physical Media Life, where she did a video talking about the same. Uh, and so I have my own experiences with CEX, so I wanted to give my own fresh perspective of things. So highly recommend that you go check out her original video. And if you're not subscribed to Tammy, uh, highly recommend doing so. She has a fantastic channel. So, pros and cons of CEX. I have been toying around with this idea, this this video, um, trying to think of how I want to go about doing it ever since watching Tammy's video. And initially, I was literally going to write up pros and cons of the uh, of CEX, and I started working on this on Saturday. And then I had to stop because my brain just won't, wasn't going to work. And all the ideas that I was having about that I was going to talk about left my brain. And so I'm going to go about it in my own way. Now, as with all these establishments, you are going to have good days and bad days. You're going to have good stores and bad stores. Thankfully for me and my personal experience with CEX, large in part is genuinely good. You know, my local CEX, which I will refrain from naming, um, is my personal favorite. Out of these six, uh, seven CEXs that I've visited in my entire life, um, my local one, over time, has become a one of the one of my favorite stores. It took a while, it took several years, you know, uh, but it got there in the end. And that's the main important thing. I, it's... I love going into to my local CEX because I know and I'm friendly with the members of staff that are there. So I know that even if I'm just going in for a quick browse, uh, if it's not busy, I can chat away with them and, you know, it not be a problem. Um, but I do know that there, there will be some CEXs where you'll go in and you just won't have the best uh, experiences because the, mem the members of staff just aren't all that great, you know, um, but it's, it's the look of the draw. Now, the stores that I visited up in Dublin, um, is completely different to, to my local CEX. There are some that are good, you know, um, these are the ones that I have visited, uh, in, for my live DVD and, uh, Blu-ray hunting series, and it, only one of them, over time, has gotten good. Uh, but that is because uh, two of the members of staff that used to work in my local CEX have moved up to there and turned that one around and has made it a, you know, a good CEX store. Um, but there are, you know, there are, so you know, a good number of pros and cons uh, about, you know, CEX. The, the, some of the good pros are is it's very cheap for collectors of either video games or or in my case, you know, DVDs and Blu-rays, um, a lot of this stuff are like really, really cheap that you can pick up. Um, like their one year movie section has a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of great movies. So as anyone who is starting to get back into collecting physical media, it's a gold mine right there for the one year movie, uh, movie uh, section of how many great movies that you can go in and buy for for that cheap um and you know if you if you have stuff that you don't want like technology and stuff that you don't need it's easier just to go trade it into them assuming that it works um you know it's easier just to go to trade into to cex um and get the cash that way instead of having to either try to sell it locally on facebook marketplace or put it up on ebay and then if you sell it on ebay you've got to deal with the ebay fees and then the shipping fees, and then uh, there's also the possibility of you getting scammed uh, and stuff. But there are negativities to CEX, as there is to any establishment. I have come across a lot of them over the years. Um, like, the main one is, if I'm ordering online, I might get, you know, stuff that looks like this. This is a Star. This is Star Trek Voyager season one, as you can see, that I ordered from CEX. That um, this is how it arrived to me. As 
everything else is fine except this this is how they deemed it acceptable enough to send to me um a couple of years back as well i ordered this um chromecast this is literally how it was sent to me there was no a uh, plug for it or wire for it whatever the main reason why i didn't return it and you can, this we'll get to why i didn't return this one first is because i'll probably pick it up a, a cleaner copy further down the line i i'm okay having it like this for now um because it's not really that much on display like it'll be just this on display and not this but why didn't i return this if this if this is how it was sent to me and the stupid answer is my thought process when i got this was i already have a spare cable i already have a spare plug so i'll just use that instead of having to go down and deal with the hassle of you know trying to return this and either not having one sent back out to me a new one sent out to me or um get a, and then having to get a refund i i just wanted a over and done with i didn't want to have to deal with the hassle um and that's not all like uh my doctor who series four uh when i was doing my doctor who season reviews last year when i got onto series four i had a massive headache but this is kind of also it's a it's a con but it's also a pro um and that is when i because i ordered series four from cex and i got it i stupidly didn't test the discs to make sure that it worked but when i got around to watching it a whole nearly a whole year later uh, for the reviews, uh, for the Series 4 review, uh, that's when I learned that uh, the discs that I w that was in the Series 4 had disc rot, and, uh, which means I just couldn't watch most of the discs. And that is another, like, a big con, is the fact that whilst, yes, CEX do check the discs for scratches, they're not necessarily looking for disc rot. Uh, so you could go buy something from them and it would look clean to the to like the untrained eye But if a if a disc gets disc rot, that's it. That's game over and that's what happened So I brought it down to my local and it got sorted. They Eventually it got sorted. It took a, a week or two um, But they then you know did send me a replacement that also had issues so because they they also allowed me to take the the one that had disc rot on it um i was able to frankenstein together a decent enough co uh, copy for for series four um so there so they will work with you if you have issues because i know that there was a tiktoker that um that's come up on my for you page where he talked about buying a google pixel 8 um in B grade or A grade, I can't remember, and having issues trying to return it uh, to to CEX. Um, so yeah, there there are there can be issues for that as well as you know for collectors, uh, for Pokemon games, and this goes for both the UK and uh, for Ireland CEX. Um, they're not really trained to spot fake cartridges now there can be easy cartridges to tell that hey this is fake um but they might have staff that might not know any better that they'll think say for example pokemon ruby is supposed to come in a clear um red cartridge and not the standard game boy gray cartridge they might think oh pokemon ruby well it looks legit when it isn't and then they'll unknowingly end up selling um the stuff you know the selling the the fake cards and it's the same with ds ds cartridges are like really really hard to tell if it's legit or not um obviously you know if the if it has a uh sd card sticking out of it then yeah that's not legit but even now, like the the fake carts that uh, DS carts that are going around, um, it's nearly impossible to tell the difference. So, yes, like to to kind of wrap up, yes, there are going to be a lot of pros and cons about CEX. There are going to be a lot of people that just refuse to shop in this place because of they they might have had nothing but bad experiences, um, and stuff. But for me, I'll it's 
it's a store that I'll always, you know, go to. I might not be buying as much from them nowadays just because my local CEX just don't get in a lot of stuff that I would want for my collection. Um, which is why I also then have to, you know, buy on Amazon. That's a separate video. Uh, but yeah, and even like, I already made a video talking about the price differences between the UK and Ireland. Um, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to bother rehashing all that. I've already done that video. So at the end of the day, I don't, I like CEX. I've had more good experiences than bad um, over the years. Um, except for technology. Trading in technology is a whole other kettle of fish. Uh, trading in disc stuff, not a problem. Trading in technology, one out of every ten times, they'll take it. Every other time, they'll come up with an issue. Uh, like, again, using my local CEX. Back in 2016, I went to trade in my mother's tablet, because uh, none of us were using it. And uh, they came back, they tested it for like an hour, I came back and they were like, oh yeah, sorry, we can't take this because when we looked at the camera, the, the screen was, was all green and stuff and she went to go show me and then the camera booted up fine and the, the employee was like, oh well, it, it seems to be working fine now but we still can't take this. When you, you, you're saying that it has an issue but I'm not seeing the issue, you know? Uh, stuff like that, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I have, I'll always, you know, go to CEX unless I'm, I have like a really, really bad experience with it. Um, so that's just some of my takes. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. Let me know what your opinions, your pros and cons are for CEX. Once again, huge shout out to Tammy over at Physical Media Life uh, for giving me, uh, for, you know, for making that video to kind of get me thinking about this and uh, I will see you on the next discussion video because I do have quite a few discussion videos, uh, discussion ideas uh, coming to mind. So I'll see you all next time.